Hey guys, SoCT here, and today I'm going to talk about Arsenal maps and basically rate them on an S to F scale. Uh, this map, this little map tier list maker of sorts was provided by Bandai's. I hope you guys follow him. I'll put the link to his Twitter as well as his YouTube in the description as well as the link to this tier list maker if you think you have your own uh, opinions on these maps. Now I will um, put this out of the way that I won't be reviewing uh, maps that I made so like Bull Psy, Kid and Chaos and even maps that overseen such as Mighty Manor. I'm not going to cover those and that's pretty much it just because of bias and we already know they're kind of average so I, I kind of respect that. I know I gotta get better and we'll, we'll have these revamped so maybe uh, you guys can make uh, your own sort of uh, opinions on them being revamped in about a week from now. Whatever. It's cool. Anyways, let's just start from the top here. So we got 67th way here. I'm gonna put it in a nice B. I don't think it's a bad map. I think for the most part it's pretty stable. I like the fight there. There's not many enemies but at the same time we're all thinking about 16 player matches here. We're not worried about uh, competitive modes in terms of like 1v1s or 2v2s or whatever, or even 3v3s. Um, I'm worrying about like how does it play normal standard gameplay as well as sometimes competitive gameplay. And for that, it's pretty average. Um, say for agency, I don't know what people's issues with agency is. I just see it as an average map that I'll play through. It, I could see some people having problems with it maybe on certain areas of the map with spawn trapping, but once you kind of get used to it, it w and you can kind of avoid being spawn trapped, it's especially when you're trying to rotate. It just feels like it is a spawn trap kind of uh, map because of so many areas are funneled through one air low like it's like an area, but it's one spot. Like you can only go through this pathway to go there, or maybe you have like two pathways, which isn't really easy to do. So I respect people not liking that. Um, aircraft's all right. I like the crates here compared to most maps. They kind of do whatever. Uh, compared to most maps in terms of its aesthetic and, and mechanical layout. The only problem might be like is the clipping on certain uh, areas or is it collision? It's it's either or and it feels a little off, but it's pretty much a nice map, especially for the summer update from last year. It's probably the best one out of the uh, summer update. I'll be honest with you there. Uh, the abandoned warehouse, I think, or abandoned area. I don't know what it's called. It's like a D rate, and it's not bad. You just funnel into these specific areas of the map. I liked playing it. Wasn't the best, in my opinion. I just think when you're in like in the middle and having only a certain uh, like certain exits to go to, or like entrances, I should say. I mean, it, it feels weird. It doesn't feel right. It, it's like Subway, which I can probably um, go to that later, but that one's a little different of a situation. Um, so, I've always rated at C. I don't think it ever changed, mainly because, like most Counter-Strike maps that are in Arsenal, it doesn't feel like they're good for Arsenal, but at the same time, this is different for Assault because Assault actually feels a little um, unique, especially with Train. The Train control up there is pretty interesting as a uh, competitive standpoint, but it also lets people rotate in a different manner so they don't feel like they're seen all the time. It has its own flow, but I do have complaints, which is usually it's collision on certain areas, but there's not much that you can do there. Uh, beach, I would bring it to a near A, but more B, just because it feels like incomplete. It's rushed. There's not much I could say other than it's alright to play. Another casual game to play on competitive or standard mode. Um, Boulevard, it's A for me. I think because... For standard play and even competitive, I really like it on competitive. It has a nice balance of a lot, long range, mid range to close quarters. It, it gets in between its dynamic, especially with the trolley. Most maps in this game don't do that and it's a unique case here because it feels like it's not affecting it negatively. It's like the only hazard in the game that I feel like it's not affecting anything in, in terms of experience, like other maps do that where they have the hazard really affecting the actual gameplay. This one it uniquely does not have that problem, which is very unusual uh, for some sort of map to have this issue, but uh, hey, that's just how it is. Um, bridge, I'm going to go with a solid D just because 
it could have been better. Uh, I thought it was just like the top part would be where we fight, but in actuality, everyone's in the bottom of it, just fighting me. And it's mainly because you can't really climb up again, so you just have to fight down there. That's where all the action is, and that becomes a uh, critical point to the map's uh, flaw, which is the fact that everyone's fighting in one spot underneath bridge, and it makes no point, you know, in terms of sense. I, I feel like there could have been more to it. I was thinking maybe like water spout or something like that pops up periodically. You can use that to kind of go up instead of climbing a ladder all the time or something cool. There really wasn't anything special, so it's rated a D. Uh, complex being rated C is pretty average. Makes sense. I rated it F in the past, and in my opinion on like just other tier lists. I feel like Complex has improved in terms of optimization. And I realize it's not that bad of a map once you get used to long range. It's really fun uh, on standard and even competitive. I really enjoy it. Uh, especially now that people are actually fighting inside of Complex instead of outside. That's where really the problems started happening. And, and the uh, uh, last time I reviewed it, people kept fighting outside of Complex or just other places that weren't really a good thing for the map design. Uh, Delta, solid F. Uh, I don't really care about it. It's obvious it's a test map, so I don't, I'm not going to go into much detail there. Um, Diner, F, just because it's way too wide. It tries to feel like Halo, but it's not Halo because you can't move fast enough. Even though Arsenal's a pretty fast-paced map, it's just this one is just way too wide. Feels very weird. Not my favorite out of the uh, many arsenal maps i would definitely not recommend this if they can redo it i'll be okay with it i really like the idea of diner it's just that the actual open space is just unnecessary it doesn't look good uh dizzy s tier despite the um the sense of spawn trapping and dizzy it's very rare to do it in like 16 player servers it's very hard to do it i mean you can predict where they spawn but people have a little bit of leeway to get ready to a pre-fire on both ends. And that kind of gives us a little bit of a flavor of sorts to actually deal with enemies without having to deal with it in other maps, such as even Sandtown. Sandtown has a huge issue with that. Even uh, Street Corner. So, yeah. So, that's two. Mm, I rank it D just because it could have been better. It's just... Tries to be like CS, but it's worse than CS. And I know Counter Blocks has done re renditions of uh, Dust 2, and then you know, we got Dust 2 and CS redone. Uh, it's just really ugly, and it doesn't fit Arsenal, which I'm understandably uh, considering that it was removed after a long while. Um, Cash is in the same boat. It can it can get better. It just needs to be redone. Um, that might be a, a little bit of time until we see that. Factory, uh, it's very D, just because there's a lot of issues with spawn. It's okay, um, I would say it feels like a little bit of Dizzy and some other maps in between. It just doesn't work well when there's a lot of barricades and other aspects of obstructing your shooting. I feel like they could, uh, you know, tone it down a bit and it'd be okay. I would rank it at C or even B if it's really done well. Um, Glacier C, I don't think there's a lot of things to complain other than the camp and spawns, but uh, yeah, Glacier's kind of um, strange with its like see through gla uh, glass ice of sorts. And it's, I know it's Glacier, but it's easy to pre fire players in, and I just don't really like how that's just done. Um, Personally, not my sort of map. It's still kind of fun to play on. I don't think it's fun enough for me. Um, High Frights, I really enjoyed this. It's probably one of the better maps in the game, especially with the Ferris wheel and the roller coaster. I feel like I have fun with it. Sure, it's kind of hard to find people, but it's not as hard as I thought. It's just that you gotta go to the stalls or like near the Ferris wheel. There's usually people around. Some people try to hide and go underneath the roller coaster rides. Um, trying to get a pretty pretty good snipe on top of the Ferris wheel. A uh, Ferris wheel, if you try to control it, it's easier to find kills because they're everywhere. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much fun for that aspect. Uh, hillside, I rank it A just because it's an iconic map for its time. And even currently, it's a pretty decent and solid uh, entry in Arsenal. Uh, just like Safe House, I'll rank it at A. They're 
They're both similar where they have control on a certain elevation and they can abuse that with FOV. Sure, that's an issue for spawns, but like, the thing is, for 16 players, it's not going to be possible to do that often unless you really go to the game. But it's so fun to play on these maps. They, you can always find people, there's a lot of enemies, it, it's constant. You're going to find these matches are going to be short anyway. Um, Lunar, it's F, I don't really care about it, it's not really a bad map, but... For what it's worth, it's Arsenal, and we're trying to deal with something like that in, like, arcade mode and stuff. It just doesn't feel right to be in an Arsenal map, per se. Um, I would say Metro is a solid F. Although, I really liked Metro. I don't think it works for Arsenal. The way Arsenal works, the way it processes, it's not this, okay? I don't think it's this good um, in terms of of a big map and having so many people find it, it's just not going to be possible with something like Metro. If you're trying to find something like that, you're going to probably find Dizzy better, obviously. You don't want to find constant combat, not like that, in terms of a labyrinth. It's just not fun. Uh, Midtown, I would say is C instead of a D, just because even though there's obstruction, it's still alright. You know, for the cars, they could probably remove a few cars or do something. Overall, it's pretty solid as a map. I feel like the biggest drawbacks are maybe the spawn system. It just feels a little strange. Um, I would say Sandtown's a solid A. I would put it at S, but there's just a few issues with some of the design as well as the spawn. I just don't like the, how the spawn system works. And there's not much they can do with the spawn system. But you can make it really predictable, and they won't have protection compared to Dizzy. At least for Dizzy, the spawns are like high. You're hidden in one spot. It's very hard to predict if someone's going to be behind a uh, uh, an area in Dizzy. It's very hard to do that. And most of the time, they, they spawn and they quickly go and rotate. The problem with Sandtown is that, well, you're stuck in those uh, call-out spots like Tower or Underneath Plane and all these other spots. It makes it predictable. You get a headshot. But they also design like the arches. They just feel like a little rushed. I don't know. I just didn't really like the overall design of Sandtown. If they redo Sandtown... I would like that. I really would like that. That would probably make this S tier map easily if they can fix that as well as the spawns. Um, Street Corner is a solid D. I don't think it's an F. I hate the map, but it has its own purpose. It's a fun little map if you want to get quick cash or something. Of course, everyone wants to cash, but uh, overall, it's not something I would care about. No, um, it's not something I care about at all. Silo, I would say, is uh, around D as well. It's not terrible, but it's one of those maps where you're just kind of like, eh, it's not fun. It is open, and it is kind of interesting to look at, but for what its function is, it's not really good. Um, I would say Subway's F, and it's very rare for me to call a map like this recent an F map, just because they're, it's not terrible in terms of its quality it's really nice to look at i think subway just doesn't fit an arsenal because you're just stuck in one go you're you're entering two different uh areas or the vent ducts and it's just this constant fighting then you got these two trains that really have this latency issue where it just feels like well what's the point of stopping us fight every couple seconds and then you have this latency with it so sometimes you won't know until it happens and you die by walking on the tracks. There's not a lot of uh, ways to go around it other than the uh, scaffolds, and I just feel like even that's more annoying. There's not a lot of protection for you. You're kind of just forced to enter the middle of the map if you need a fight. There's nothing really remarkable about this. This is like the same issue that we see with Delta. It's not that it's complicated in terms of frustrating uh, obstacles wherever you go. It's just that it defeats the purpose of playing a fast-paced map when you try to make a map not fast-paced with a train. Tuscan has a big issue, and I rank it at C just because of the obstacles. It really is a nice map. It looks great. But then you go into it a bit more, and a lot of the uh, details obstruct your vision, or at least block bullets that you're trying to at least trying to get to other enemies. And... It's so frustrating when you're trying to fight, you, you hit like a metal pipe or something else that just happens to be there. And it becomes one of the more irritating uh, maps for that. Other maps have that problem too, but just not as bad as Tuscan. 
I would rank it at B because I really like the aesthetic of it and I really like the maps. I like Tuscan, but here we are. Uh, Vertigo, I'm gonna give it a solid D. It's not terrible, it's one, it's a little better than Subway, but you're kinda in a position where you're having trouble to find people, mainly because the way they make the openings for every person uh, hard to find, so not my uh, cup of tea. And now, uh, last but not least, Villa. I'm gonna rank it at B. I'm surprised, actually, because I would think it was C or D as well, but for uh, what it's worth, Villa is pretty fun to play on. It's probably one of my favorite uh, in terms of just doing a lot of lateral kills, uh, multi kills in general, kill streaks in general. The only problem might be the way the spawns are. Sometimes they're too predictable and you'll get spawn killed if they are good at the game. So, yeah, this is my sort of uh, tier list. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you like it. And comment down below if you think you agree with this tier list or you think, oh, I see, I think this map shouldn't be this high or, or this low in your tier list. You know, I don't mind people having their dis disagreements. I, I hope you guys have your own opinions on anything. I just personally like server maps depend on how 16 player servers perform. Now, for competitive, it's a whole different story, which we could go on again, but I think we'll, we'll save that for another time. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. Subscribe if you haven't already, and peace out.